Let's take a closer look at what's going on here. I cleansed and saged these cards, so they're fresh and ready. Right away, I can sense you're feeling a strong sense of betrayal. The Four of Wands and Seven of Swords point to disappointment, different levels of it, but it's clear you feel let down. You had high hopes for someone in your life, and you thought they would do more, take action, and really step up. But now, it feels like they're barely putting in any effort, and that lack of care is hitting you hard. You might have seen this person as someone special, someone you could truly settle down with. The Four of Wands speaks to that vision, imagining a life together, building a home, maybe even having a family. You pictured a healthy, loving relationship with stability, a real partner by your side. But right now, that vision feels out of reach. Instead of putting in the energy you expected, they've fallen short, leaving you feeling frustrated and hurt. It's not just disappointment, it's a mix of frustration, anger, and sadness. You had a picture in your mind, a real hope that this relationship would be different, that this person would meet you halfway. But here you are, feeling abandoned in a way, upset that they didn't become the partner you thought they could be. It's a tough realization, but it's important to recognize and honor these feelings. They're telling you what you need and what you truly want in a partner. This is someone you feel deeply connected to, someone who pulls you in, and you genuinely feel good about them. But there's this huge frustration, they're not stepping up. That's exactly what the Seven of Swords shows here. You're left wondering, we like each other, so why aren't things moving forward? What's holding this back? Let me adjust this table mat as we keep going, the cards keep pulling it along. Okay, let's dive deeper. The Nine of Cups comes up, showing that this person is your wish, something you truly want. You can picture life with them, you see the pieces coming together with them by your side. It's like, if I just have you, life feels complete, everything falls into place. This desire runs deep, you want them as a solid part of your life, someone to build with. And here's the thing, I sense action is on the way. There's a powerful energy here that suggests they'll find the strength to make a move. We're seeing both fire and water elements at play, which bring passion and emotion. With the strength card backing it all up, this shows courage and the inner push they need to finally take that step forward. So, hang in there. Your connection is strong, and it looks like they're about to find the bravery to show you just how much they care. The King of Wands says, I'm ready to take action, I'm going after you. This is a bold, determined energy, someone who's gearing up to make a real move. And then, there's the King of Cups, who's saying, this is how I feel, this is what I've been dealing with. Alongside the Strength card, it shows they've been through a lot. They've felt overwhelmed, frustrated, and worn down by things not going as planned. Life hasn't been easy for them lately, and they've been carrying a lot of sadness and disappointment. The Ten of Wands adds to this showing they're mentally and emotionally drained. There's this heavy feeling of exhaustion, maybe even depression. They're tired, not just physically but deep down. As I read this, I feel their energy, it's like a weight that makes me feel tired just talking about it. This isn't one of those one-sided situations where you care, and they don't. They genuinely have feelings for you, this is no, chase someone who doesn't want you, scenario. You're not dealing with someone who's cold or pushing you away. Instead, this is someone who's struggling and wants to move toward you but is caught up in their own battles right now. So, be patient with them. They're on a journey to clear the obstacles that weigh them down. And once they do, they'll have the energy to give you the love and attention you deserve. 
I don't feel like there's that kind of toxicity. The Queen of Cups with the Ten of Swords here shows that they are feeling like they can't really step up towards you right now. They're not feeling ready for somebody like you right now. They are feeling emotionally very drained. They're feeling very sort of overwhelmed. They feel just so tired, okay? They feel so tired with certain circumstances and things in their life that are not working out for them. They just feel so drained and so exhausted. Even with the King of Wands, sorry, King of Swords, you know, they want to be honest with you in time. They want to be proactive towards you in time. They want to make things happen. This is a strong, like, soulmate kind of energy. This person really does have feelings for you. They do care about you. As I'm saying this, the lover's card appears. That's no coincidence. It's a clear sign, this person has real feelings for you. They're drawn to you, and it's not just physical. They feel connected to you emotionally and mentally. But here's the catch, right now, they're struggling just to handle their own emotions and thoughts. How can they be there for you emotionally and mentally when they're barely holding themselves together? They need time. That's what the Seven of Pentacles shows. They need time to grow, to understand who they are, and to feel like themselves again. Right now, they don't feel stable. They're working through things, and they need space to do that. The Ten of Pentacles tells us more. This person doesn't want you to see all their struggles. They like to appear strong, like they've got everything together. With all these King energies, King of Wands, King of Cups, they want to look capable and confident. They want to be that steady rock, someone who's got it all figured out. But here's the truth, they don't have it all figured out. They're still sorting through their own challenges, but they're trying. Right now, they're putting up a strong front. They want to seem like everything is perfect, but deep down, they're still working on themselves. They want to be the person you can count on, and they're taking the time they need to become that. So, hold on, give them space and trust that they'll come to you when they're ready, stronger and more sure of themselves. That's the main thing that I really do pick up on with this reading. Especially with the Ten of Pentacles is that, in time, they will progress things with you. They will move things along with you as well. But they need time and space to figure themselves out. How can you expect a person to give you stability when they don't have it within themselves? How can you expect a person to give you energy when they barely even have it for themselves? They need to regain that strength, that courage, that energy, that stability within themselves, and then they will be able to come towards you. How they are acting is not because of you, it's because of themselves and the things that they've got going on within themselves. Right now, it's important to respect their need for time and space. They're on their own journey, and they need this distance to work things out for themselves. Giving them this time isn't just for them, it's also essential for you. Clinging on too tightly won't be healthy for either of you. Now, let's look at what message cards say, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. This card is all about remembering that your life doesn't revolve around just one person. It's about you, too. Take this as a nudge to focus on yourself, to build your own happiness, and to grow independently. If you find yourself struggling with this, consider ways to detach a bit. There are powerful ways to bring the focus back to you, like practicing a detachment ritual, a codependency release, or even a self-love ritual. These can help shift your energy inward reminding you of your own strength and guiding you to create peace within yourself. These rituals are all about drawing your energy back to yourself. When you pull your focus inward, 
detachment happens naturally. This detachment opens up space for healing and helps you accept your current situation. Healing is actually the heart of the law of attraction, it's about finding peace in the present. When you heal, you can adapt to what's happening around you, even if things didn't turn out as planned. Without healing, you may find yourself clinging to others, feeling needy or desperate. This creates a cycle where you aren't truly taking care of yourself. But the law of attraction doesn't work from a place of need, it's about knowing what you want and still being okay without it. When you're balanced, secure, and self-aware, you naturally attract what's right for you. So yes, have your dreams, but also know you're whole and complete on your own. That's the true key to the law of attraction. We have here, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Be positive, be optimistic, but also let it go a little bit. Give this person space and time to figure themselves out. You don't need to be holding on to the point where it's emotionally damaging you, because then what happens is it goes into the spiritual energies, they pick up on the fact that your energy is all over them and needing them, and that doesn't really give them the space and time they need to also work on themselves. If anything, they'll pick up on the energy and be like, I need even more time. So just make sure, right, that you put yourself first, you make yourself that priority. Then, literally, when you do you and take care of yourself, everything will shape itself around you. This person does like you, they do have feelings for you, they do care about you, but it's actually not about you right now. It's about them, and they need to heal within themselves. They need to feel happy within themselves.